Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Belle from BudgetBelle.com, helping you create a budget, pay down debt, and save for the future. YouTube is letting me know that about 97% of you guys that have watched my videos have not subscribed to this channel quite yet. So please make sure to click that button right there and subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notifications so you can know when I post up new videos. Just make sure to click that button right down below so you don't miss any updates that I share on this channel. So. Let's get right into the video of the day. So I wanted to bring you guys another stimulus update. In this video, we're gonna be going over some important reminders from the IRS um, for those who receive benefits such as SSI, SSDI, VA benefits, and the likes. And I also wanted to answer some frequently asked questions that I get often in my comment section for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started on this video. So I get this question a lot. I am an American citizen and my spouse is not. Does my spouse qualify for a stimulus check? According to the CARES Act, non-resident immigrants are not eligible for payment. Another question I get quite often and continue to get is I was claimed on someone else's tax return as a dependent. Do I get a stimulus check? No, you do not. If you were claimed on someone else's tax returns, you do not qualify for a stimulus payment. And lastly, the 500 per child bonus payments only apply to children under the age of 17. And I get this one quite, quite often. Additionally, the law says that payments can be offset by past due child support payments that have been reported to the Treasury Department. So if you owe child support and you owe arrears, they can garnish your child support payment. Another reason why someone may not be eligible for the stimulus payment is they have earned too much money. Individuals who earn more than $75,000, joint filers who earn more than a combined $150,000, and those Filing head of household who earn more than $112,000 will have their payments reduced by $5 for every $100 in income above those marks. That means it zeroes out for individuals earning more than $99,000 and couples who earn more than $198,000 combined. Okay, let's move on. Delays from tax prep services. A common reason why payments are delayed is because the applicant used a tax preparation service to file their taxes. Those services set up temporary accounts for some customers to receive refunds from the IRS so they can deduct fees before passing the remainder along to recipients. If you use a tax prep service such as H&R Block or the likes, it is quite possible your stimulus check has been delayed because of that. The IRS has incorrect bank information for you. In some cases, the IRS may not have a person's up-to-date banking information if the person has changed bank accounts since they last filed. This would impact their ability to send direct deposit to the proper location. Please head over to the Get My Payment to on the IRS website to assist in updating your bank, your banking information. All right, you filed a paper tax return. Payments amounts are determined in most cases by income as reported in people's tax returns. According to the IRS, they are currently unable to process paper returns due to COVID-19. As a result, those who file paper returns will have to wait until process centers reopen to have their returns handled. The IRS advised that people do not send a second return electronically. If you typically opt to receive a tax refund via checks in the mail as opposed to direct deposit, then it's likely that your stimulus checks will be arriving the same way. Wrong amounts. In some cases, people receive payments just now for the correct amount. For example, the IRS has recognized that there are Americans who did not receive their bonus payment of $500 per child. While they have not explained why this has happened, they, the government says that in these cases, people can claim the additional money when they file for their 2020 tax return. Okay, so those are some of the frequently asked questions that I get, and I hope that answers that for you guys if you were concerned. On to the important reminders for those who are still waiting for a stimulus payment such as SSI, SSDI, VA benefits and the like. The IRS has sent over 130 million 
out of 180 million checks for over $200 billion in just the last four weeks, leaving about 50 million checks to be sent out. As I mentioned before in previous videos, the IRS can only mail out 5 million checks per week account instead of in the mail, you have one more day to update your information. The IRS says you can submit your direct deposit information until noon tomorrow on the Get My Payment tool on its website. After the deadline, you will only be able to get a paper check and no direct deposit. People can expect them in the mail starting later this month. And in Okay, so please guys, please, please, please pay close attention to this announcement. If you want to get your check sooner, Rather than waiting two to three months, please, 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 please listen to this carefully. The IRS says starting later this month, the number of paper checks being delivered to taxpayers will sharply increase. For many taxpayers, the last chance to obtain a direct deposit of their economic impact payment rather than receive a paper check is coming tomorrow. People should visit the get my payment to on the irs.gov by noon wednesday may 13th to check on their payment status and to see and to see when available to provide their direct deposit information the irs commissioner said we're working hard to get more payments quickly to taxpayers time is running out for a chance to get these payments several weeks earlier through direct deposit it sounds like they may be able to send out paper checks faster than originally planned. But if you want it even sooner, please go to the irs.gov website to get my payment to and input your direct deposit information so you can get your stimulus payment faster. And guys, also, if you want your payments even sooner, use the link down below to Chime Banking. Chime is an online banking platform that is allowing a lot of people to receive their stimulus payments even sooner than regular traditional banks. So check out the link in the description box below. Okay, as I mentioned before, as of now, the timeline for those who are receiving paper checks is based on your income. So it started with those making under $10,000 with checks mailed out on April 24th, then 20,000 on May 1st, and today for those making under $40,000, having their checks mailed out. So according to the IRS, they said that standard mailing time for a check, <laughs> according to the IRS, they said that standard mailing time is 14 days. Not sure why that's taking so long because most people where business mailing time is between two to seven business days, but the IRS requires a little bit more time. It is what it is. Every Friday, every Friday they're mailing payments out and subsequently until they mail all of the payments out. Then the schedule keeps going out one week for every additional $10 until September 4th. For those who are married, five jointly, and earning $198,000 or less. But the new release says they're looking to send out paper checks for the remaining, remaining of May through June. So maybe, so maybe if you're going to wait for a paper check, you might end up getting it sooner than you think. So guys, these are the updates that I have for you today, May 12th, in regards to your stimulus payment check. Please, like I mentioned before, use the link down in the description box below. Get 50 extra dollars, get 50 bonus dollars when you deposit $200 from a payroll or a direct deposit, um, and get your stimulus check even sooner, okay? so. Let me know down below if you have any questions about what I just mentioned. I'll be more than happy to answer it as best as I can. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware, but I answer pretty much every single comment or question that comes onto the comment um, section, except for the rude ones. The rude ones, I... <laughs> what do you say to that one, right? Okay guys, if you found this video resourceful and helpful for you, please, please, please make sure to smash that like button. I truly appreciate it. Smash that like button so YouTube can get this out to more people. Let YouTube know that you're feeling your girl. So please do that for me. Um, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I will continue to update you guys. I will do my best to continue to update you guys with new videos as often as I can. Thanks for watching.